Welcome to France. Welcome to Europe. Here we are guys, the other end, 35 minutes that was exactly. That's just stupidly insane. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world. Morning, guys. Morning. Well, the day's come. The day before. Yeah. <laughs> it's now Friday, the 8th of uh, April. We're just heading out now to meet up with the others, then we're off to France. Yay! With you, monsieur. It's <laughs> So yeah, we're just on our way to Kiddyman's now, catch up with the others, then we're already off down to Folkestone, parking up tonight before we hit the tunnel in the morning. Um, the Channel Tunnel crossing. Channel Tunnel. I think that's for uh, 10 50 or something like that. Yeah. 10 50 in the morning. Lovely, lovely sunny day. Hopefully the weather stays like this all the way down today. It's about a three and a half, four hour trip for us, probably a little bit longer. We're hoping we're not gonna get stuck in all this traffic, this queues down at the port, uh, obviously because of P&O ferries, so we don't know about that bit until we get a bit near, that's why we thought we'd come down tonight, ready for crossing in early in the morning. Yeah. I just shook my thumb in the door, that hurts. Stupid. I don't know why I did that, I don't know how I did that even. Fucking hurts. That's all the black probably. He did anyway. a bit, he turned into a little bit of Tourette's at that point. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> right guys, we'll catch you a bit later on today somewhere different different <laughs> down the road bye right, catch you later bye, bye. so here we are guys um park up for tonight before we cross tomorrow morning friday evening just gone five o'clock at the uh, checkers caravan park um 18 pound for the night it's about 10 minute drive that's all from the channel tunnel determined to go under the tunnel um, so we've parked up here for tonight ready for going in the morning i think it's 9 50 or something like that somewhere around there in the morning you can get there i think it's four hours before so we're going to get there about just after seven might get on an earlier one then let me just show you quickly where we are here so checkers all the facilities are safe for 18 pen you've got the toilets men and women's i don't think it's going to shower that's the only thing but we've got shower in the van and everything you've got obviously uh, the waste dump point alson you've got water you put on for morning if you want to before you go out obviously you've got uh, quite a few pitches here quite a nice little site this is so there's the three of us parked here for tonight at the checkers ready for morning just a little play area there if you've got kids with you got electric hookup as well in that guys for 18 pounds electric hookup got water the elson dump and as i say about 10 15 minute drive that's all here we are for the night the three of us ready for morning sun's out just gonna uh, go back in and have a cup of tea in a minute so yeah you got electric claire's got the kettle on i think let's just see what just telling everybody we parked up now for the night haven't we, we first have. night yep. just uh yeah check us it's about 18 quid wasn't it 18 quid 18 with electric, electric and everything yep. get a kettle on have a cup of tea so that's about us for to, for that for now for to for tonight first day so we'll catch you in the morning in the terminal see you in the morning good morning guys then so this is the day we've been waiting for the 9th of april, april. just coming up to the uh, channel tunnel terminals now lovely sunny sunny saturday morning just gone eight to, uh, ten minutes past the eight o'clock we're in combo we've got robin lynn behind us Andy and Sully at the front and Mark and Sal in the middle. Come on, Coming into head only for the, the tunnel. Never been here before, so we don't know what we're doing. We're just following them. Yeah, but none of us have been here before. Oh, true. Oh. Oh. Stop it. Whatever. Catch 
you in a minute. Because of all the chaos and everything that's going on, obviously, at the moment. Well, this is the key to get on the train, so I believe. Keep <laughs> so excited. And as you can see, we've got two way radios. Excited. <laughs> so we can all keep in uh, contact with each other. There's four vans now with us. We've got Robin Lynn behind, Andy and Sully at the front, and um, Mark, and Sally. Mark and Sally in the middle. It's the queue, Andy. It is, yeah. What joy. See, it's good to have them because you can keep all Yeah, we're point eight of a mile of actually getting to the terminal, so interesting. So this is where we start. No <laughs> That's Rob, that is. We'll give you a push. <laughs> so yeah, because I'll of obviously see all the P and O problems at the moment, and they've grounded their ferries and what have you. You've got all the M20, A20, M20 here all queued up with lorries waiting for crossings and that they, they can't do. So it's a bit of chaos at the moment, but I think traffic, the, t the channel tunnel, are okay. So we will go in and have a look, won't we? We're mm -hmm. crossing at, was it 10... 50. 50, I think it is. So normally you can get on a bit earlier, but I think with all the chaos going on. And now there's been a major... Okay now, I've just put some in. <laughs> red, red diesel, Rob. So... Got a red in that, Rob? No, I can't get that anymore, I stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's white now. Anyway, so we're going to, um, yeah, as I say, because of all the, the hassle going on, I don't think we'll get on any early, because normally you come in three hours early and get on an earlier one, but with all this lot, I don't think so. So, right, we'll catch you a bit further on in. See you in a bit. barriers at the moment. I'm not repeating what Andy said though. And um, it's been slow going to get this far. The terminal barriers are just in front of us now, which I think is where they give you the the numbers, different bay numbers. Show you passports and one of you, I think. I don't know yet. we'll find out in a minute. We're about third one from the barrier now. The other guys are just going to the barrier. There's some scrapes down the wall. As long as we don't add to them. All the scrapes off women drivers. <laughs> Shut up, rabbit. Okay. <laughs> Be concentrating going through this concrete. Well. Mark looks really tight this one side. Don't know about them scrapes. Oh, look at them scrapes, yeah. A bit scruff some lines down there. No oh, idea what number they're punching in. Okay. There'll be no pets. So checking that you've got no pets and how many people are in the van. Yeah. Because if you've got pets, then obviously they send you to a different department, different. We've section. just parked up just past the, uh, the booking in just to, to, to wait for you guys. Yeah, we can see you, dude. Where have you parked? In France. In France. <laughs> Bloody hell, you got there quicker than you got to uh, Folkestone. <laughs> we actually will be there quicker than we got to Folkestone. <laughs> yeah, 35 minutes. Morning. Hi. We're on G3. Could the other say G3? What numbers have you guys got? G3. Say that again, sorry. G3. G3. We're waiting for you. We've got G3. Yeah. G for goddess. <laughs> G for goddess. Because he's the goddess. Right guys are catching them and they're all waiting for each other to come through. What does Robin Lynn there? So if you've got pets with you, that's gone to pet reception. If you haven't, then obviously we can carry on where we're going there. So we're going in the place? Yeah, which is waiting now, car parking area, then it'll be flashing up, I, I suppose. No, we'll 
people getting out and like going in like to the toilet and stuff or possibly so guys if you got pets with you you'd have to go to pet reception obviously we haven't got gizzy with us this time i didn't know if he said that we decided this this trip to see how it goes not bring gizzy with us but he'll be coming with us when we do the next one in spain portugal but it's only been 24 hours and we're very much missing him yeah bless him he's already been facetiming us <laughs> yeah that's bless him hey, where are you left me he did look very happy Take a lot of these on the other side as you see now, the ones that are getting ready for the next one going out. We're on the, was it 10.50 did you say? 10.50, yeah. Don't go past the barrier like I nearly did. <laughs> well, oh, he yeah. go past the barrier, just went past the stop thing where he was trying to pick you up, that's all. So yeah, we're going to park up here and have a drink and a wee wee. <laughs> and a nervous poo. <laughs> really? <laughs> right guys, catch you in a bit. So we're moving round now guys, ready to uh, the boarding. Just coming up to the passenger security control. This is where we could get checked. Pulled over. So they just choose who they want to pull over? Yeah, they'll have a look, see if you suspect. We'll definitely have a look. You can see just in front now. There. There's a passport security control. Get in your lanes, passport, security, control, check in, slow, stop. If directed. Yeah, you're being directed to each one. You want. So you can't keep all that, four vans with the four of us together, but obviously, anyway, because they just split you up. So it picks it up on your registration to begin with, and then you have to uh, go to passport control. It's still in your van. side this time. So you need all this? Yeah, and just a passport. If you open the passport all you have to do guys is just show your pictures of your passport. So if you open both to the where your passport um, ID is, your pictures. That's all they're looking at is the passports. So show your mug shots. Day, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Oh, lovely. It is beautiful. Better than the rain. Yeah, that stays away. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers, nice thank you. Thank you. Bye. Well, that bit's alright. Security lanes, they're pushing us through the security lanes. That's about our homes, probably. About our homes, a bit different than cars, aren't they? Pull them over by the boxes. Lane one. So they've got pulled over and we're going to lane one now. So that means we've got pain to pull over too. They will pull over the motorhomes. Yeah, they're the checking side. We'll shut you off for a minute, too, guys. So, guys. Two board control security ones will be more interested in. We got a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Having a look on the phone. We Have might a look have on the phones today. <laughs> yeah. Fair play. All they were checking them for was um, that the gas bottle was turned off. Obviously, with this one, it's in the back garage, in the garage sealed, and I just opened the doors to show him that the, the uh, um, regulator was off the bottle. And he was happy with that. And they were more interested in the writing on the van. <laughs> <laughs> so, passport again in a minute, by the looks of it. Let's uh, catch in a bit while we're standing. So we're just coming to the French uh, border passport control now. Going through the English one, going through security check whether the camper vans moving. Or so let's watch, see if the French are so. Uh, Woman. So we are on the French side, passport control. This is where you get your book stamped. No such thing anymore, is there? No. 
Oh yeah, they'll stamp it, so that tells you how long you've been out of the country. At the back, there'll be stamps. See there? Yeah. You don't want to stamp, really, so they can't tell how long you've been out, ideally. As soon as that's been stamped, you've got three months. Well, unless you get into Schengen. Mark's got to uh, locked in, hasn't he? Claire and Sal, we just parked up past the passport control, just waiting for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, don't be all day, Sal. Don, Don, are you? Don, are you? What's that? On the side, the police car, security, whatever it is. Uh, Maybe it's a police car. It's French, isn't it? I don't know, I think it's everything's like policio. 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 Kill. When they uh, actually scan it, they're looking on the thing to see if you're wanted. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what he's looking at, and he looks at you, makes sure it's you. There you go, look. <laughs> and there we've got a stamp. Oh, three months. We can do three months there. He's pulling in behind the others for a minute. Is Mark in the, in the queue yet? We managed to let get him in. Mark's just behind that other car. Right, we'll catch you in a minute when we get on the train, guys. Or near the train. And I bet you never calms down, does it? Especially now with the holidays. It, yeah, holidays are starting, see? Can we get it? Gone, yeah, 12, lovely. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Oh, so we're in 12. Do you want to go in 13 anyway? <laughs> so the barrier's up, we're away. Obviously, we missed the train. No fault of ours. It's 11.27 now, 11.30 coming up. So obviously we missed our 10.50. But they put it on the next one, so it's not a problem. Stickers all over there, look. See them? Really? Local stickers, yeah. Guys, here you go, this is how you load the train.
by the time you see this guys though the Instagram would have been out and gone again it's something else probably where we are at the chateau I can see a donkey on top of the hill I can see a white car I can see a donkey moving nice in camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to talk to a man in long after. <laughs> Sorry. Guys, the banter is great. <laughs> if you're ever with these guys, running with these guys in front, get ready for banter, because it's constant. Our ribs all hurt by the, the end of the fortnight. White horse on the on the side of the. It's not a real horse. No, it's just a big white engraved carving monument, whatever. A horse. A horse. He's going to get stuck between the doors. Not me. Oh shit. <laughs> Just make sure there's plenty of room between each carriage. There you go, guys. Can't get out. We're over an hour late, aren't we? Are we? Yeah. Eleven forty-five. Now we should have gone at 10, 10 50. 10 50 so. so an hour late, really. Apparently, you can put a complaint in. And you go. So we've got to stay in the vans. 
Yeah, yeah, just do that. You can't get out, can you? They don't let you to get out. Well, I did tell you, Andy, but you wouldn't listen. <laughs> Someone wants to join the Mile Under Club. Mile Under Club. <laughs> can't get out, but you, you must wear your high vis if you do. <laughs> and a face covering. So, guys, we ended up. We, we, ended, <laughs> we ended up being um, shoehorned into the. Black, well, this carriage is only three of us in here, as you can see outside at the back. That's the door there, which Mark was looking through earlier. So, we've been shoehorned into this last bit here. So, there's three of us in this carriage. So, 35 minutes um, train crossing. So. Okay. We'll sit and. Uh, you, you know, that's it now, you're just sitting here, just chill out. I don't know what's going on in Andy's van, but he's all shaking about. Feet on the dash, chill out. Dry, it's just slowly getting on the bed. Right, catch you now, just <laughs> slowly getting on the bed. <laughs> right, catch you in a bit. I'll get back to you. Please ensure that your handbrake is on and that your vehicle is in first gear or park. For your safety and comfort, we recommend that you stay with your vehicle. Do not stand or walk between the vehicles during the crossing. As a safety measure, please open some roofs or vents and keep your windows open halfway throughout the crossing. We would like to remind you that for safety reasons, flash photography and smoking are strictly forbidden on board as they interfere with our fire detection systems. If you require any assistance, you can call a crew member using the call points situated on the side panels of the carriage. Safety instructions are also displayed on the side panels. Please read these instructions carefully. In the unlikely event... Followed by an evacuation announcement. Don't want that. On hearing <laughs> the alarm signal, you should move directly to the next carriage. Objective. This is a precautionary measure while the shuttle continues its crossing. Thank you for your attention. Now let's go. Yeah. I don't like it. With tolls, three hours fifteen without tolls, so about forty minutes longer. So we'll have a chat at the other side. Thanks, Andy. Afin d'éviter toute perturbation de nos systèmes de détection incendie, vous pouvez appeler le village en utilisant les points d'accès sur les panneaux latéraux. Nous vous prions de lire attentivement les. Don't say anything now. So this is it. All goes blank, black now, like this. You can see it in the tunnel. See anything last night? <laughs> so we got the. You can see the trucks rocking a bit as you go along. Under the tunnel, and that's it, you're under the tunnel and away to go. So we'll catch you guys on the other side hopefully. of the channel tunnel. Oh you mean hopefully. <laughs> in our life really jackets. Hope so. See you in a Just winding them all up with this music. Another you know, one under the sea. Can't play too much you get slapped for. And we're the other side. Doesn't take long. 35 minutes and we're the other side. So, How do you know? just go get there then, because it's got light! <laughs> just got to take my cozy off now and get dressed. Yeah. Socks back on. <laughs> Defo. Welcome to France. Welcome to Europe. Here we are guys, the other end, 35 minutes that was exactly. That's just stupidly insane. Just to sort of get the day to day to roaming turned on, even while well, we've got EA and everything's working. The one in the van isn't at the moment, so we've got to suss that out. When you're underneath, you, you have no obviously no internet connection, no nothing. Sit, Maria. 
Get back on again, go home. On the left, on the road there, on the left-hand side, that entrance to tolls and the rest, like up, trying to keep up the toll roads. As you can see, it's all Chateau de Bellevue. Uh, so going into the back, the back roads and the villages and the likes up there. We're only 50 minutes away. The Chateau, Chateau, what? Don't, don't remember that. One. Chateau de something other. We'll have a look when we get there. Chateau something. And I'm chewing on rubber raisins and peanuts. That's in the